everyone welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be explaining why i chose the canon rp over the canon 70d i've had the canon 70d for about five four four to five years now as long as i've been doing photography and i decided to finally switch to full frame and here are some of my thoughts on the canon rp also remember to support this channel don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel uh yeah so so my first so why I wanted to switch right away is mostly because of full frame. Full frame allows me to use lenses, use a lot of prime lenses that would be useful in studio situations. I noticed that as I got more into studio, it was more difficult to use the 50 millimeter in those tight spaces. So I wanted to upgrade to full frame. And this is definitely better. Uh, full frame also reduces a lot of noise and there's just a lot of lenses with it. The other reason why I wanted to switch to the Canon RP is because of the RF lenses. Now this, I got a deal, I got a bundle, I found a bundle on eBay which came with the 24 to 105 f4. So I picked that up, the USM lens, and you know, it's looking good. I've never been a fan of the 24 to 105 uh, range, but I like it right now. But in the future, I'll be able to get the RF lenses. And if you do the same thing, you'll be able to get the RF lenses. And I know they just released a 50 to 1.8, and I believe it was 200, seven, uh, 700 to 200 millimeter F uh, 2.8. So those are two of the reasons why I got it. Another reason was to try out the 4K capabilities. Now, a lot now, a lot of reviews said that the 4K wasn't really usable because there was such a crop factor on the sensor for 4K video. And I've seen a few other cameras do this, so it's nothing new, but uh, it was kind of bummer trying to get it to work. And I don't think 4K is gonna happen on this channel. If I upgrade to something like the R or the R5, uh, it definitely will, but I don't know if that's possible with the RP right now. I've only used it, like I said, for a week now but uh, the RP for 4K doesn't look that good. Uh, another, re another reason why I wanted to get the RP is I wanted something small. During the summer, I actually wanted to get a Canon M50, but the price was just like $500, $600, and it didn't have enough features that I wanted. Now, compared to the Canon 70D, this is a lot lighter and a lot more packable into my bag. So I love it, I love that way. Uh, to use it for travel because I was traveling a lot over the summer. Uh, I would recommend go watching those cinematic videos. They're pretty cool. And uh, uh, another, another reason why I got the Canon RP is weather sealing. Weather sealing is super big for me because I'm always hard on my camera. I always, I always put it to the extremes, whether it's cold weather or warm weather or just whatever weather and packing it in my bag and moving around and stuff. Uh, it's important to have something that's weather sealed for me. So I know, here, I'll show you. So this is my Canon 70D. And as you can see, it's gonna focus. On the bottom there, it's pretty scraped up. Uh, this thing has been through a lot, and I mean a lot. Um, it's been to Ecuador, it's been out of the country, I've taken on planes. I've taken it through the desert, you know, just a lot of different stuff. So definitely weather sealing is important for the Canon RP for my decision for uh, getting it. Now, some of the things that I really don't like about the Canon RP is the, there's continuous shooting, the frames, I believe it's between either four or five frames per second, which is pretty bad compared to the Canon Canon 70D that does seven frames per second, or there's other ones that do like 12 frame, frames per second, other mirrorless cameras. And this kind of goes, is a run up to the Nikon Z6, I believe, and the A7, A7 II, I believe. Uh, so those are both competitors of this camera. Also another thing, if you want a free preset, go on the link down in the description. Uh, free preset and you'll get my newsletters. If you want to sign up for my news newsletters, you can do that too. But you don't have to, but the free preset is down in the description. And I send out blog posts and these videos. So let me see. I'm, I'm looking for my final point. 
Now, some of my favorite features are actually the LCD, the light up uh, viewfinder that can be found on the Canon R and the Canon RP. And another feature that I really like is the <laughs> intervalometer that I actually made a time lapse on. There's gonna be a few other Canon RP videos, so get ready for that. But that was really useful, that was really helpful. And it was just a breeze, really easy to use. Uh, and the next one, the last one is, and the last thing that I really like about this camera is the ability to use the touch focus on screen. So there's like 100, 100 plus uh, points that you can pick to choose to focus on. And I think that's pretty cool. So like I said, I only have had this camera for about a week now, so I'll give it a few more tries and speed test it, get some portraits and just have some fun with it. And I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping it. I kinda of want an R5 or uh, I have some extra money that I can go towards an R5. Uh, but this was such a great deal with the lens included that you guys should definitely go check it out. If you guys wanna go check it out in the description, it's also in the description. And yeah, see you guys later.